tendinosus. Okay. All three hamstrings attach onto this bony bit called the ischial. Ischial. Brilliant. Yeah. And you, you will need to find this on your client. So you go where the natural fold is here, put your thumb there, press in there. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on an ischial yeah. tuberosity. And I can feel that bony ridge. Now, a lot of people might not have to press quite so hard, but it's ready, so I'll get in. <laughs> so all three hamstrings come from that position. Imagine that as the hook was the sitting bone here, excuse moi. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the very bottom part of it is the ischial tuberosity, but the whole bone is the ischium. And some people are taught to remember it as itchy bum. <laughs> ischium, the itchy bum. But the bottom end is the ischial tuberosity. So... I'm going to firstly draw a little dotted line down the middle of the hamstrings. On the medial side are the two semis, and on the outside is the bicep femoris. So bicep femoris works on its own on the outside. It's a lot bigger. How many heads has it got? Two. 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 Femoris lies down the femur. The two semis are on this side. So this semitendinosus is going to look a little bit like so as it comes down that way. So it turns into a stringy tendon. Mm -hmm. Maybe it comes more that way, really. Just trying to join my line up. So that's semitendinosis. Semitendinosis is smaller and attaches to pes anserinus. It lies on top of semimembranosis, which has the same attachment point, but is a wider muscle. It lies underneath it, and it goes down to the back of the tibia here. So that's its attachment there. Point. Okay, so they're two layered muscles really that work together. The main difference, they attach here, they're both on the medial side of the leg. One attaches the back of the tib, one attaches round to the front of the tib.